So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to access the tool. We have multiple ways of doing this. Uh, the first way of doing it would be clicking on our toolbar up here in the top left hand corner. And you can see here the second tool listed is the Agrium Prescription Creator. If we were to click on that, that would take us directly into the tool. The other way of doing it would be if we were looking at a field analyzer map here. And let's say we noticed some troubled areas that we wanted to address come next year's seeding, like this low lying ditch here. We could go ahead and click on the Agrium Prescription Creator up here in the top right hand corner from the drop down box. The last place I want to show you guys how to access the tool is going to be from the details portion of a field. So if we click on our field and go into the details, you can see over here on the left hand side we have prescription listed. So if we click on that, here you can see any of the previous old prescriptions we have saved for the field, as well as the ability to add new. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these old prescriptions. Here you can see a legend over on the left hand side and our prescription map listed over on the right. Anywhere that's blue is going to be a 22,000 seed population. Anywhere that is purple is going to be a 24,000 seed population. Anywhere that's green is going to be a 26,000 seed population. So let's go ahead and start a new prescription. And if we click on the yellow plus button here and hit create new and then continue to Agrian, you can see we get a new window pop up here in our web browser. So while that's loading, I kind of want to go over some of the requirements before we can create a prescription. The first thing being that we have a client farm and field listed. So the nice part about the last link I showed you guys or the link from the field analyzer tab, this client farm field information will already be filled out for you. Uh, if you were to click on the tool from the tools bar, uh, that is something you would have to fill out. So the only reason that is a requirement is so that the prescription builder knows what field we're creating the prescription for. Uh, one of the next requirements for creating a prescription is that we have a boundary listed. If you have multiple boundaries listed for a field, you could choose which boundary you'd like. Um, for our field, we just have the one, so I'll click on boundary 2020. Um, one of the last requirements is that we have uh, our products loaded into the products manager tool within Operation Center, and that's so that whenever we get done building the prescription, we can go ahead and assign what product or variety that we're going to be applying with the prescription. So once we have all those requirements met, we just need to come down here and choose how we're going to build the prescription. So there's multiple ways of doing it. The first one being average yield. So if you have multiple uh, years of harvest data saved up in Operations Center, you could click on average yield and build a prescription map based off the average for those years. The next option that we have is off of a field operation. So if we had an application map that mirrored a similar um, prescription pattern that we would want to use for seeding. We could also click on field operation and build a prescription based off of that field operation. The next option that we have probably the most common is freeform zones. So this is where you would actually use the tools within the prescription creator to draw your own zones. The last option that we have is to build off of a soil survey map. So there is a soil survey map built into operation center and so that's where it would pull the data from. So I'm going to go ahead and click on freeform zone so I can show you guys the tools within the prescription creator. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So here you can see the outline of our field. This is our boundary. So right now we've got this green box, which is technically our first zone. Um, and with how it is right now, you can't really see much of the contour behind it when I'm hovering my mouse over it. So the first thing I want to do is click on manually edit zones. And then with the mouse tool right up here in the top right hand corner, I just want to click on this green box. So now you can see everything is clear. So we do have a pivot here in the middle as well as a pivot over here on the right. And here's that low line ditch I talked about when we were in field analyzer. So let's go ahead and start creating some zones. The first tool I want to show you guys is the circle tool. So if you do have a field that's got a pivot on it, we'll just do the one over here on the left hand side. Obviously, you can see I've got this blue dot. I just want to place that right at the base of the pivot. So we'll go ahead and click and then I just need to drag this out to wherever the end gun reaches or our last pivot track. 
So if I zoom in here, I can see here's the last pivot track for the field. So I'll go ahead and click. And now you can see we've got a zone created for just under the pivot as well as a zone for outside the pivot. So the next tool I want to show you guys is the polygon tool. You could use this for putting in a test plot up here in the corner. So if we wanted to put in a test plot, keep all our populations the same, but change our variety and test variety, we could go ahead and with the polygon tool, go ahead and put in a nice square there. And you can draw any shape you want with the polygon tool. Uh, the last tool I want to show you guys is the splitting tool. So with the splitting tool, you can split an entire field in half. You can split an entire zone in half. So just kind of whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and split the north half and the south half of the pivot here. So I'll click over here on the left side of our of our pivot zone and then I'll double click over here on the right side of the pivot. So now we have a north and a south half to our pivot. So let's go ahead and create our zones. Uh, here you can see in the area box, we've got all our different colors, which represent our different zones over here on the map. So we've got our red zone here, and here's the acres that are in those zones. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and assign a variety or chemical to what we'll be applying on the prescription. So we're going to be using this for a seeding map, so I'm going to go ahead and add a variety. We'll just go ahead and choose this pioneer number here. And so you can see what I had to choose from there was all the products that we have listed within products manager in operation center. So here is where we would begin assigning values to our zones. So as you can see, when I move my mouse and hover over a different zone, it also highlights it on the map for me. So we'll go ahead and put the red zone at 22,000. We'll put our yellow zone at 24,000. We'll make the south half of the pivot 24,000. And then the north half of the pivot will bump that up to 26,000. So here you can see I've got two zones with the same value. If I wanted to go ahead and make those one zone, I could hit this dissolve button here. Hit OK. And now any of the zones that had the same values are now one. So you can see here this 24,000. I've got the south half of the pivot as well as our little test plot up here all assigned to the same. So the next thing we want to do is just make sure that all our values listed here in our zones are correct. So once I hit the save button, I don't have the ability of going back and editing this prescription. So I want to make sure we don't have an extra zero or missing a zero on any of these zones here. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And here we get a little window that pops up and tells us that the prescription we just created is now available in files in Operation Center. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'll X out of the prescription creator. X out of these few windows here. We'll go ahead and hop into files. So once we're in files, you can see here, here's the last prescription that we created, January 4th, 2021. So if we wanted to send this to the equipment, we could go ahead and check the box, hit transfer to equipment, and here's all our pieces with the JD link. So we can choose one of these and go ahead and transfer it to it. So now this prescription is sent wirelessly to the tractor and can be pulled in and used this spring. So most of the time before I send off a prescription, the first thing I like to do is change the name. So if we click on the prescription file there and hit edit, here we have the ability to change the name. So this is a good opportunity to go ahead and put in what the prescription is going to be used for. So seeding 2021, I'll hit save. And so now when I pull that prescription in on the display, I'll see seeding 2021, what field it's for and what products. So I know exactly what that prescription is used for.